Hello everyone, this is Jingyi. So today I'll be presenting a topic called uh, the quantum entanglement, the EPR paradox and the Bell's inequality test. So uh, quantum entanglement is one of the most peculiar features of the quantum physical world. So I will provide you with some current entanglement experiments and that tested the Bell's inequality theorem. So first, what is the quantum entanglement? Well, particles have many peculiar physical properties in the quantum world. For instance, the uncertainty relationship states that not all the classical observable properties of a system can be simultaneously determined with exact precession. For example, such as the famous Heisenberg's uncertainty principle implies a limit to the accuracy of a simultaneous measurements of the position and the momentum variable pairs. On the contrary, Quantum entanglement describes the two components of a quantum system connected with one another in such a way that the quantum status of each component cannot be described independently. Even if the pair of the components, say they are particles, are separated by a large distance. For instance, if a pair of photons in initially interact, no matter how far away they are separated later on, when an observer measures the state of one photon, the other photon state will be instantaneously determined. For spin one half particles, if one particle in the entangled pair is measured to be spin up state, the other one may be instantaneously forced to be in the spin down state. The reason is because the initial interaction or the entanglement between those two photons allow them to be defined by a single wave function. Once they are separated later, they will still share the same wave function. Einstein described the quantum entanglement as this spooky action due to the strange behavior. In 1935, three physicists, Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen, published a paper titled, Can Quantum Mechanical Description of Physical Reality Be Considered Complete? And introduced a thought experiment to argue that the quantum explanation of entanglement was an incomplete theory. Based on quantum entanglement theory, it is said that the result of a measurement of one particle of entangled pair system can have an instantaneous effect on another particle, regardless of the distance between the two particles. The EPR paradox described, quote, either the quantum mechanical description of the reality given by a wave function is not complete, or when the operators corresponding to two physical to two physical quantities do not commute. The two quantities cannot have cannot have the simultaneous reality. Therefore, the EPR paradox considers quantum theory as an incomplete theory. It is important to notice that Einstein and his colleagues were not against the quantum theory, but to demonstrate the innate conceptual difficulties of the quantum theory. So to the question, can quantum mechanical description of physical reality be considered complete? Einstein's answer was clearly negative. As a solution to the paradox, Einstein postulated the existence of the hidden variables, as yet unknown hidden as yet unknown local properties of the system, which could account for the disparity, discre uh, sorry, discre discrepancy, so that no instantaneous spooky action would be necessary. This is known as the local realism or element of reality, which refers, which, which reflects Einstein's deterministic view of the world. EPR paradox described the principle of locality as asserting the that physical processes occurring at one place should have no immediate effect on the elements of reality at another location. The implication of the EPR paper is to illustrate how quantum physics is not the same as classical physics, which helps deeper our understanding of non-classical characteristics of the, quantum, of the quantum world. So in 1964, a physicist named John Bell published a paper titled on einstein podolsky rosen paradox as a response to the EPR paradox. He pointed out an alternative theory based on EPR's locality principle that actually yields a testable inequality that differs from predictions of quantum mechanics. Bill proved that Einstein's point of view or local realism leads to algebraic predictions. His work translated Einstein's philosophical position of the realism and locality into a precise mathematical description. In the sting gerlach experiment, Let's consider an experiment in which A and B arrange their SG device at random along the axis A, B, and C, making measurements of the spin of particles along this axis. In order to conserve the angular momentum, for instance, if particle one is in the type plus A minus C plus, uh, plus A minus B plus C, 
then particle two must have the type minus A plus B minus C, so that if A find particle one to have the spin up or down along the same axis, B find particle two to have a spin oppositely directed along the same axis. As a result, there are in total eight combinations that the two particle can emit in the decay of a spin zero particle, which is showing this chart here. So to match the result of the spin Gerlach experiment, we will find that the EPR's hidden variable theory must satisfy this inequality theory, inequality equation uh, in this orange box. So in order to test uh, this inequality, A and B must make measurements to determine the three probabilities. First, A's SG device is oriented along A, while B's fixed along the B axis, and the measurements are made to determine the probability of plus A plus B. A and B then go to measure the probability of plus A plus C and plus C plus B to see this if the inequality is satisfied. So the inequality is in the form that is easy to compare the predictions of the quantum mechanics. If quantum mechanics is correct and Bill's inequality is violated, no local hidden variable theory can be valid. Now, let me introduce you to the idea behind the Bill test, as well as some interesting experimental results uh, that test the Bill's inequality theorem. So recall that Bill proved that uh, the quantum mechanics is incompatible with Einstein's local realism, right? Bill tests are experiments that are designed to test whether or not the real world satisfies the local realism. An experimenter produces a pair of entangled pairs, uh, entangled particles, and send them to two separate measurements stations. Two observers, Alice and Bob, stay in each station. Alice and Bob uh, are in charge of making simultaneous and predictable measurements on each particle. Quantum mechanics predicts that the measurements Alice makes will instantaneously influence Bob's particle and vice versa, whereas the local realism predicts that this influence cannot happen and Alice and Bob's measurements should not agree with each other. Following the idea that Bill's inequality is testable, many scientists have designed different kinds of experiments to test whether Einstein's hidden variable theory or the quantum world is correct. Many types of Bill tests have been performed in the physical laboratories since 1970s. People are constantly uh, designing better experiments to close the so-called loopholes that may cause the flows or the errors of the experiments. Such loopholes may be, uh, may be from the design or the setup of experiments, or if the observers indeed have the free will to ensure the unpredictability of build tests. The freedom of choice loophole refers to the idea that experimenters have total freedom in choosing their experimental sets from the types of particles to the measurements they choose. One of the most famous experiments is the, build, uh, is the cosmic build test. In 2014, scientists proposed experiments using the Asian photon from astronomical sources, such as stars, as random number generators, uh, rather than the generators on Earth. Here, the left picture shows you that researchers set up the telescope at three detector stations uh, and detect the photons from the stars. The stars are anywhere from dozens to billions of light years away from the Earth. Thus, if some hidden variable were to interfere with the randomness of the choice of measurements, they would have to set those up before the time that light, that light left the cosmic sources and reach Earth, so it, which is impossible. In a few microseconds before an entangled stellar photon arrived at the detector, the researchers used each telescope to rapidly measure the property of an incoming stellar photon to see whether its wavelength was red or blue. So the red refers to uh, the red photon refers to the detector measured an entangled photon's polarization in a particular direction, whereas the blue photon measured the polarization of entangled pa particle along a different direction. As a result, the researchers measured about uh, 100,000 pairs of entangled stellar photons and find that the polarization measurements of the photon pairs were highly correlated. This result showed consistency with the quantum entanglement and violated Bill's inequality theory. So following the cosmic field test, researchers designed and conducted a similar experiment with much larger and more powerful telescopes to catch the incoming light from even more ancient distance astrophysical sources, the quasars. Quasars are astronomical objects that are incredibly far away and yet are so luminous that light can travel to Earth. 
In this experiment, researchers used the light from two distant quasars as their random number generators, one of which emitted a light 7.8 billion years ago, and the other one is from 12.2 billion years ago. They set a telescope for detecting light from each quasar, respectively. The light from quasars decided the measurement choice, the polarizer angle at each detector. Meanwhile, researchers at station located between the two telescopes created pairs of entangled photons based on the measurement choices of two Asian quasars. As a result, they measured more than 30,000 pairs of photons and find strong entangled correlations among them to a degree that far exceeded the limit of Bell's original calculation predicted. Once again, the hidden variable theory is disapproved by the experimental results. Then I would like to introduce you with another very interesting Bell test called the Big Bell test in, 2006, in 2016. The Big Bell test is a worthwhile project using video game to bring human unpredictability or human randomness to cutting edge physics, uh, cutting edge physics experiments. In 2016, over 100,000 volunteers participated in an online video game that used the random human choices to produce the data for researchers conducting multiple independent tests across the globe. On November 30th, um, so on November 30th, 2016, during a 12 hour period, the participants worldwide provided a sustained data flow of over a thousand beats per second to a big build test experiments. The participant generated in total 97,347,490 binary choices in the usage of 13 independent experiments that tested the local realism using photons, single atoms, atomic assemblies, and superconducting devices. This video game method provides rapid collections of human-generated randomness. As a result, most experiments observed a statistically strong violation of their respective inequalities, supporting the rejections of local realism in a multitude of systems and scenarios. Until today, there have been many experiments that are followed by the Bell's inequality theorem. Those experiments are designed to test whether Einstein's hidden variable theory is correct or not. As for now, all of the experiments have found that the hypothesis of hidden variable theory is inconsistent with the way that the physical system behaves. Very likely, Einstein was wrong in this case. So you may want to ask a question, like why does the weird quantum entanglement exist? Well, no one actually knows, but scientists have provided many cool hypotheses. One of them is called a cosmic hologram, which follows the idea that since two entangled particles can instantaneously communicate with each other, regardless of the large distance among them, they can, uh, then we can probably say that the space between them somehow do not exist. So following that idea, we're probably living in a 3D holographic world that is projected by the 2D world, like this picture shows you. This idea may sound crazy for you, as me, uh, for me as well, but I find it's kind of intriguing. And here's a book you may want to read and get more knowledge about that, which is called The Cosmic Hologram by Judy Corby. Lastly, I just want to briefly mention about how the topic of quantum entanglement may be significant. Well, an experiment, uh, the experiments conducted so far show the violation of Bell's inequality theorem, which confirms that a pair of entangled particles separated by large distance must be considered a single non-separable object. In other words, it's impossible to assign local realism to each particle separately. Today, quantum entanglement forms a basis of several cutting edge technologies. So here I give you two examples of applications. First one is the quantum cryptography. Entangled qubits are used to transmit uh, in signals that cannot be intercepted by the third person, unlike mathematical encryption. Quantum, uh, quantum cryptography uh, uses the principle of quantum mechanics to encrypt data and make it virtually unhackable. And uh, the third, uh, second application is the quantum computing. So quantum computing basically are uh, using the binary values such as one and zero uh, in the superposition so that the qubits are often measured on either one, zero or a combination uh, or a superposition of one and zero. In that sense, quantum computing can greatly enhance the big data processing. To sum up, quantum entanglement is, a growing, is growing to become a subfield of quantum mechanics 
due to its wild application and profound implication for modern cosmology and even philosophy. Here is a reference, and thank you so much for listening to my presentation.